Hello. So we're here in front of the Yaki. So lots of really cool bands playing, including Acid Mother's Temple. And Ruins Alone. Uh, Zubi Zuba X. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be really cool. But first, we're gonna go inside and interview somebody. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're still shooting me. Oh, yeah. How many questions or something? Uh, many questions. Many questions. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> So you're touring Europe right now. Yes, festival. Japanese New Music Festival. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, yesterday you were in Copenhagen. Yes. And today you're in Amsterdam. Yes. So tell me about the Japanese New Music, music festival. festival. This is a, like a kind of showcase tour with a, by three persons, three musicians. Yeah. Yoshida of the Ruins and uh, me and also Tsema, bassist of Asma Yeah. Just a three musicians play the, this time eight project. In yeah. each night. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> like, uh, so like a kind of showcase tour. And uh, we play not just psychedelic, we play like a main, like even like a Yoshida play Ruins alone. Yeah. So, you know, Ruins is a kind of a hardcore, ex extreme frog rock or something like that. Yeah. So, we play like a many different kind of different music. By just three pass. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So it's yeah. a whole festival with three Yeah, pass. like the smallest festival in the world. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. Also, eight projects in 90 or 100 minutes. Ah, right. Also, yeah, so like a very, like, uh, what do you say, compact. Of course, uh, I've seen you play in Amsterdam before. Yeah. So, um, and Amsterdam is of course very free and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I know that you're from Osaka. Yes. And I was wondering what the Japanese music scene is like, because I feel like maybe Osaka is much cooler than Tokyo, maybe. Maybe. They're kind of different, like New yeah. York and San Francisco, ah, like London yeah. and Glasgow, yeah. like that. So, I don't know which is the coolest, but. A kind of different atmosphere. And you, of course, do the uh, the Acid Mothers Festival every year. Yeah. yeah. So Acid Mother Festival always uh, I organize it in Nagoya. Yeah. Nagoya is the central central of Japan, like between Osaka and Tokyo. Mm. It means uh, like uh, people from both city can come. Ah. Yeah. So oh, like great. easy. Yeah. Oh, that's great. You guys, uh, it's quite a long tour. Uh, this time? Yeah. It's... Not so long. Just, oh, uh, really? Just 18 shows in 19 days. Whoa. <laughs> not so long for us. Ah, really? Yeah. You tour a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering because uh, maybe some people think touring is like the ultimate rock fantasy, you know? <laughs> is this true? Or? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are not so uh, such young. So. Ah. We, our style is not like a rock and roll style or something. This yeah. time we travel by train uh, and uh, flight, also by ourselves, also just for playing, not uh, any other thing. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. kind of biz very business-like. Oh, yeah, I see. Because yeah. uh, of course the music industry has changed a lot mm -hmm. recently, you know, because with the downloads, and yeah, vinyl yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, exist yeah, yeah. anymore. And, Maybe it's harder now, or how does now compare to maybe before? I don't care. Oh, you don't care? Because if I, if we can play like always good music, real good music, yeah. so it doesn't matter even anything, like even like media or something changed. Because always the people, if like we, we play good music for people, always people want to get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so I believe it. So, uh, so I don't. So it doesn't matter. Even like a download or a vinyl, come back, what CD will disappear or something. I don't care. Right. But just we should play. Like we should keep to play good music. How does a band like you make yeah? money these days? So we are like not rich people, mm-hmm. but just uh, we are very independent mm-hmm. and uh, just DIY. Uh, so yeah. we pub- we manage everything by our hands. Mm-hmm. No, so a kind of a very small company, yeah. like independent. So we can get enough, mo- at least enough money from uh, just such small business. Oh, I see. From touring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tour and some even like uh, records, a CD. Oh. Yeah, but we play, we like we did this like uh, not one album in a year. Yeah. Because uh, when I started to release some albums. Uh, if I release one album in a year, I th- I was sure I can get I can't get enough money for life mm-hmm. because uh, my music is not like pop stars style or rock and roll stars. So I I think like my music is just maybe thousand thousand or three thousand people would get. Uh, I, I think this is more, more maximum. So yeah. we can I can't sell like a. Ten thousand copies, but if like uh, I did this ten C ten albums in a in a year, mm. so each album means like if like I can sell thousand copies on each album, mm. so it means like I can sell ten thousand copies in a ah, yeah. 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 So yeah, like it's the same. And your fans are hardcore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, also like especially like my music uh, was released only like from small. Independent labels, so they, many times like they don't have a good distribution. Mm. So like uh, many people say, it's, like a bit difficult to find. Yeah. So I so I would, I prefer like not just share uh, fair. Mm. So it means like uh, if I can release at least one album in each country, mm. people in each country can find at least one album very easily. The, the Acid Mothers uh, collective, there's many yeah. different sounds and genres, and, yeah. but uh, uh, the collective seems to have a, an interest in psychedelia. It's quite broad psychedelic because, you know, there's Jimi Hendrix, but there's mm-hmm. also things like, you know, the Incredible String Band, yeah. and even Yoko Ono, yeah. and in some ways it goes back yeah. further, you know, like Cage and Stockhausen could yeah, be, yeah. you know, and even Miles Davis yeah, yeah. and stuff. So to you, what is psychedelic? I don't know. <laughs> uh, psychedelic movement was what happened in late sixties, like sixty-seven or something. But then I was I was a child, so I didn't. I I don't know like a real psychedelic movement. So just like I know only about music. But I think my music is not real psychedelic. Oh really? So because uh, psychedelic music means like. Uh, like classical psychedelic rock, mm-hmm. like mu- music means like always like a musician took something, and the audience took something, so they can share. I was going to ask you that. So yeah. they can share same thing, not the same, but they can yeah. share some effects. Yeah. But if like audience doesn't don't take anything, mm. but musician take something, so it means like only musician can get that effect. Yeah. So like this is I think so stupid. So like my music is not like that. Even like uh, audience doesn't take anything, but they can get effects. Ah, yeah. So, so like this, so like I think I say like my music is not real psychedelic, not the same as psychedelic rock or something. Yeah. Oh, I see. And because in some ways psychedelic is very old-fashioned. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. because I think psychedelic is kind of style. Yeah. Now. Even yeah. like uh, punk rock, mm. that even like punk rock is like, when punk rock was born, it was not style. Mm. It was kind of something happening a movement, but uh, just you know, very quickly, punk rock became just fashion or style. Yeah. Like every, I think everything is same. Because what you guys do too is uh, maybe even older than that, maybe. Because sometimes there's yeah. like ethnic qualities and primal yeah. qualities, and yeah. So maybe yeah. Yeah. Would you consider your music old-fashioned? Yeah, I think so. 
because uh, I'm not so interested in new music. Good. I just uh, because new is not necessary to be good. That's true. So I, I'm interested in just good music. So even like uh, old, like even new, like I don't care. Just I wanna find good music. Because I know that you listen to a lot of different kinds of music. Yeah, different uh, kinds. Yes. What what don't you listen to? Reggae music. Reggae music. Yeah, I wow. I've had I've had a lot of reggae music when I was younger. Yeah. But I couldn't find it. Even like one percent good. <laughs> it's not your thing. <laughs> no, it, no, I don't care. Like, even some people, if if like you, you like reggae music. I don't care. Yeah. But just like uh, nothing for me. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> You are watching Future Vision Amsterdam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to see the best of Future Vision Amsterdam season two. And when this was originally broadcast on television, it was around Christmas time. So there's lots of jingle bells and snow falling. But that's okay because we love a good Christmas carol. Santa dogs a Jesus fetus. There's no presents in the future. In the future. Vision Amsterdam!